Hey YouTube, I'll show you a quick video on how to configure the remote control app for Kodi. So let's get right into it. So this is Kodi version 17 or code name Krypton. Some of the menus have changed but it's still a lot like uh, similar with the past version. Um, but there are some changes with the menu. So, so I'll show you a, um, a quick tutor tutorial on how to configure the remote control app for Kodi. So the first thing that you have to go is um, go to the settings, which is uh, this icon on the upper left corner. And these are the system settings. You have uh, different settings, player settings, media settings. You need to go to the service setting, which is, which is on the right side. Click on service settings. And on the control, on the left menu, select it and then... Uh, you may want to change the port to uh, just uh, 80 or 80. For the username, you may leave it uh, as it is. And uh, by the way, you have to select Allow Remote Control via HTTP, which is on this uh, part. Now for the username, just leave it as as it is, uh, K-O-D-I or Kodi. For the password, you may just leave it blank. For this part, uh, just leave it blank. Then these are the uh, the parts that, that needs to be enabled. Allow remote control from apl applications on the system. It, it's enabled now. Then the second one is allow remote control from applications on other systems enable it uh, that one too so again uh, let's have a quick review you have to select allow remote control via HTTP the port changes it to 80 username Cody or you may put in uh, any name just to simplify it I just uh, wrote uh, KODI or Cody uh, the password I left it blank then you have to select uh, this two options for the application control All right then you may uh, want to allow remote control all also via UPnP so again now uh, but these are the main settings under control then uh, right click on the blank space and then write down the uh, on the system information this part system information you may have to take note of its uh, IP address okay so system information then from network you may have to note down the IP address write this down on a piece of paper mine is 192.168.1.100 on your system it may be different so you have to take note of the IP address because that's the IP address we're going to put into the remote control app on your Android or um, smartphone okay okay now switching on my um, smartphone now I launched the uh, core it's called the uh, core K O R E which is available on the um, um, uh, Google uh, uh, Play Center okay or uh, Google market okay now on my uh, smartphone I downloaded the uh, core from uh, Google Play Store now uh, you just have to add a um, uh, another uh, media center now from the media center name you can put in uh, any name like um, let's say uh, Kodi 2 because I have another system uh, for the address uh, this is the IP address um, of uh, my Kodi or my machine in my case it's 192.168.1.100 the port was 80 for username um, KODI I left the password uh, blank now for uh, this uh, uh, bottom below for the advanced configuration just leave it as it is again just leave it uh, as it is 
then hit the test button from there uh, it says all done your media center is configured you can now use the remote control to, uh, the remote to control it your library is being synced and should be available in a few uh, moments so just hit finish so from there I'll be able to to um, uh, take um, uh, control of my Kodi via the remote all right as you can see I'm able to control it so basically that's how you configure the uh, Kodi remote control uh, for Android it's uh, very easy and um, it's very convenient and with this app you'll be able to uh, to control remotely your your Kodi uh, media player uh, handedly so again it's me again Matt or tech on site thank you for your uh, for watching my video see you again in the next one thank you